During the month of Ramadan, which is right now, Muslims fast from sunrise to sunset. That means Muslims in our area fast for around 16 hours a day. I spoke with Yashirundin Chishti, the owner of Maza Grill in Kent, for his favorite dish after a day of not eating or drinking anything. So you're fasting, but you're cooking for us, which makes me feel yes. that much more grateful to you today. What are we cooking today? It looks like you have a lot of spices in front of you. It's a mardan chapli kebab. It's a very famous dish in Pakistan. It's a street dish. They eat with the bread or the salad or some area with the rice. Let's get started. What do you put in this? This is uh, the ground beef, 70-30%. And 70-30 is important for flavor? Just you need a little bit uh, fat when you're frying. Mm -hmm. So that can give you a little more flavor and a little bit crunch of the fat when you eat, you can get that too. I love that. If you don't like the beef, you can use the chicken. With the same ingredients, I sent the recipe. If they're vegetarian, they can use the garbanzo beans and the red kidney beans. And with all these spices, we put one spoon of the cumin seed, one and a half cracked coriander, chili flakes. It's according to the taste. Oh, you got the... You sneeze. said chili flakes and I sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> they are. So, tablespoon of sarama, half teaspoon of salt. This is chopped walnut. It's in northwest of Pakistan. They use that, the nuts in their kebabs. And it's very healthy for you too, right? It is. They are. And we put some dried cranberry, to one and a half chopped tomato, onion, then just the, some scrambled egg, some chopped cilantro, and we have to put one raw egg as well. Here we go, we can crack the egg now. Okay, that was the coolest way I've ever seen anyone crack an egg. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we need um, some ginger paste, freshly ground ginger. We don't have the pomegranate seed here. It's not widely available. Mm -hmm. So we use Lebanese pomegranate molasses, which yes. is wonderful, very, very flavorable. So we can put one tablespoon of that. So just give a little more tangy taste. And Nasir, as you're mixing that, I have to ask, it's, this is actually a really good nutritional option for fasting during Ramadan, correct? Yes, it is. It is. It is a protein. You can get a carbohydrates, energy with the oil. People actually to open their fast, they like some tasty, kind of crispy food, not very soggy. They use some kind of fruit chart and this kind of kebabs. I've never thought of, heard of a kebab that has scrambled egg and pomegranate and molasses. It sounds amazing. So once you mix it all together, do you form them into like little... Yes. Put your these three fingers mm -hmm. here in the patty. So make this kind of a shape. So the finger marks are there, okay. and this a little bit hump up now, and then you fry it, we will be showing you in a minute. I wish I could taste the end result and not just see it, but I'm so excited to see how it comes out. Oh, final version of the kebab. Oh, that is beautiful. We just dressed up with a little bit cucumber, tomato, and the green pomegranate, mint chutney. That looks so, so good. I know the kebabs look amazing, but your specialty is halal steak, right? The halal mean is a blessed when they're slaughtering. It's a blessed in the name of God. Like the Jewish people, they do. The same thing is they, they take, they bless their meat as well. The communities, they would love to have some American, some Western food, which is not available halal. Especially this kind of the novelty, the steak, the burgers. Every 20 burgers, we freshly ground some steaks and, and we make that burgers, about 10 ounce to 12 ounce burger. That's very famous too. And I'm so glad now in the many other states, people are opening up and that's my win-win. And uh, that's, that's my darling wife. Is she there? Come on in. Uh, Tina. Hi. <laughs> so she came with me and she joined me and she helping me to establish the business. That is a beautiful story. Nasir, thank yeah. you for sharing your story. Thank you for sharing this yeah. recipe, especially yeah cooking for us while you're fasting today. That's very kind of you. We really appreciate our main mission of this restaurant was to build the bridges between the community, spread love and care to everyone. I see beautiful people, all colors of people, they're sitting, 
eating together, and we love that. And we loved him. He was so great. He hadn't even drank any water, and he talked all that time for us. So big, big thanks. And during Ramadan, Maza Grill does not, uh, does only takeout orders. So they'll show you now. Visit our website for their open hours and kebab recipe.